Hello and welcome back to Maddie's Mic. My name is Maddie and this is my mic. And so what I thought I would do today is a Christmas haul. Um, I've never done one of these before, but every single year since I was like 12, I've been addicted to watching other people's. So I am not doing this to brag. I know everyone says that, but it's true. Um, I know that Christmas is not about the gifts. It's all about Jesus' birthday, um, but I'm just really grateful for everything that I got and thought that I would share so that I can contribute to everyone's addiction to watching these videos. So I have everything kind of like scattered around in front of me, but I'll do like stocking stuffers first. Um, I got Kleenex because you always need those. You never know when you're going to sneeze. Um, and then I got these fun little Mickey Mouse um, like chip clips to bring um, to my apartment at school so those should be fun and then I got some makeup remover wipes because they're another good thing to have um, I got a little mini deodorant because I'm a stinky girl um, and you know it's best to smell fresh um, the rest of what I got in my stocking is candy. Um, I did already eat like half of it, um, but then the rest is downstairs because I'm trying to have self-control. Um, and then Santa brought me this cute little, I mean, I it wasn't already built, obviously, um, but it's a little Lego set. It's Rapunzel and it spins. So that's very cool. Okay, so one thing that I got is this cool um, little like squirt bottle. I've seen people use them. I know like like for hair oil. Um, like my roommate, she uses like rosemary oil in her hair, and her hair looks beautiful. So I think that I want to try it. And apparently, you like you can use rice water too. It's supposed to be good for your hair, but you like mix it in, and then you can like apply it to your roots. Um, and then going along with that, I forgot this was also in my stocking. It's a cool like head massager. It feels very nice. Um, and then I am Harry Styles number one fan. And I have um, his brand like pleasing. I have some nail polishes from him. And then um, I also have a sweatshirt and I wear it like every single day ask anyone that I know I wear it way too often so I asked for another one and my favorite color is purple so I got another sweatshirt in purple and because you, you can never have too many sweatshirts and what is Christmas if you don't ask for a sweatshirt on that same vein I got this sweatshirt um, it was actually my dad's, um, but he said he was going to get rid of it, and I thought that that was unacceptable because it looked so comfy, um, and it is so comfy, so he wrapped it up and gave it to me, and I am forever grateful, um, it's not over there, it has, um, the UCLA logo on the side, and then over the top, um, and I am cheap. And do not like going to get my nails done because it's expensive. So, um, my mom gave me this little, sorry, there's glare. So my mom gave me this little nail kit. It comes with different colors, nail polish, and then, um, like a little dryer. I am also a big Harry Potter nerd. So I did get a couple Harry Potter things for Christmas this year. Um, my dad gave me this little Dobby set which is so cute he has his little sock and then you also get to build um, the birthday cake that he drops trying to get Harry in trouble so that is very cute and then this next one I was so excited okay
floating candle set. So you get all of these little candles and then it comes with a wand, which is the coolest thing ever. And the wand is um, a Bluetooth remote. So I'm going to hang them from my ceiling, like above my beanbag chair where I sit and read. Um, and then I'll get to have floating candles like I'm in Harry Potter. And it was really funny because, okay, my grandma is like, she finds the coolest cards ever. Like every year, she outdoes herself. And she gave me this card, which looks like the Great Hall from Harry Potter. And there are the floating candles. And she didn't even know that I had asked for these, so that was fun. A nice little surprise. Um, it comes with these things to like attach them to your ceiling. I'm really hoping it doesn't like pull the paint off, but we'll see. Um, something else I love is Snoopy. And so my aunt and uncle gave me these they're so sweet it's a um it's like a gel cling you can put like in your window or something but i think i'm just honestly gonna stick it to my mirror and i know he has a santa hat on but i don't see why i can't have it up all year because looking at him is just gonna make me so happy and then they gave me a peanuts calendar which i didn't even know that they made but now i get to look at snoopy the whole year and each month has a cute little saying that like goes along with the season like happiness is falling in love happiness is matching costumes like for Halloween happiness is playing in the leaves so it's just super cute and I think I'm gonna hang this up at school and keep track of all my assignments that I'm gonna be getting and then the last thing they gave me was this super cute Snoopy t-shirt so it's just snoopy sitting on top of his little house it's all decorated and then woodstock is sitting with him and his little stocking is even full it's the cutest thing i've ever seen i need to wash it so that i can wear it i'm very excited about it and then i also got i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it but spider-man is one of my favorite superheroes like marvel characters um, so I got this Pandora charm. If I can figure out how to do it, I'll insert like a little like close-up video. But he is dangling down and hanging from the charm. And I just think that it's so cute. So I put it on this necklace and I've been wearing it. Um, oh, and then the last thing for my parents. My mom gave me this little necklace. It's a bunch of different colored beads. And then she got a matching one which is so cute so that we can be matching my mom's my bestie um so we're gonna be matching together the last part of my haul um i know okay so i know everybody was doing like boo baskets for halloween um but my cousin and i decided to swap burr baskets as our christmas gifts and it is like the cutest thing i've ever seen i love it so much um she almost made me cry. She knows me so well. Um, part of it is missing, so give me one second. Look at this. Spoiled me rotten. Okay. Spoiled me to the core. This is the cutest thing ever. Um, I'm just going to go through everything that she put in here. Gift giving is our love language and so we had both <laughs> said how like we had gotten each other stuff like weeks ago and had been like waiting and mine was all like i had to put it in like this big bag so that she couldn't like see everything in the basket and um long story short we were very impatient but then we finally got to exchange and she got me a jelly cat look how cute this is it's a little bunny. It says her name is Willow. I love her to the ends of the earth. She was sitting in my bed. Like, she's just so cute. I'm gonna set her here for the rest of the video. But, um, I'm a jelly cat connoisseur. Um, if anyone in your life, if, if you love them, get them a jelly cat. And that's all I have to say. 
Um, and then she got me these fuzzy socks from Old Navy. They have a cute little candy cane on them. And then um, she also gave me these really cute like little mini claw clips that are all different um, holiday themes. I'm wearing one right now. It looks like um, a little gingerbread house. And it's the cutest thing in the whole world. I love them. Put it on like right after I got it and I've been wearing it since. And then I also have a little Santa, a gingerbread, a little beanie, and a snowflake. And then she gave me these um, Florence by Mills um, little like acne spot patches. But they're so cute because they're in different little shapes like a cloud, a butterfly, a whale. And um, your girl gets hormonal acne. So these will be great. She gave me a little bath bomb. It's coconut and vanilla scented, which is like my favorite smell in the whole world. Um, I got this frosted coconut um, little set. It's a lip balm. Um, no, sorry. It's, it's hand cream and lip balm. I think those will smell delicious. She got me another pair of fuzzy socks, guys. You can never have too many pairs of fuzzy socks. They're so cute. They have little gingerbread houses and mittens on them. I got this candle that is so cute. It looks like an ornament. I can't wait to use this. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna try to save it so that next winter I can have I can have it, but like I can even use it as a decoration. It's so cute. It's um, forest fur scented. She also gave me this little um, EOS hand cream and it's um, pomegranate raspberry, which will smell very yummy. Um, she also gave me this body mist and it's called Not Another Cherry. It smells so good. Um, if you couldn't tell from the full bookcases behind me. I really like to read. Um, and I also, um, I like gloss Glossier a lot. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and so she got me this book. It's called Glossy Ambition, Beauty, and the Inside Story of Emily Weiss's Glossier. And so um, I don't know a whole lot about business. I'm an English major. That is not my expertise but this seems like a really fun way to learn about a brand that I like. And then the last thing that she gave me, best for last, aside, aside from the jelly cat, of course. She got me the newly re-released 1989 Taylor Swift album, and it's the crystal blue one. I think it's so pretty. Also, I love the cover art so pretty but um i feel old saying this but this gives me like nostalgia because i was listening to 1989 like on my cd player like jumping around my room in like fifth grade parents i i love converse and as i said my favorite color is purple my parents got me these high top purple converse and i think they are adorable i can't wait to wear them um I have green ones just like this that I wear all the time, so I'm excited to mix it up and wear the purple. This concludes my Christmas haul, my what I got for Christmas for 2023. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope that you all got to spend time with your family, your friends, even if you don't celebrate. I hope you had a great day, and I hope that everyone has a great new year.